Hello, my name is engineer John Kamau, an electrical engineer, and I'm here to give you very important tips on the appliances that you use in your home. Could be in the kitchen, could be in the bathroom, could be maybe in your bedroom or in your uh, sitting room. Now, I want to talk about an electric shock and what causes it and how can you prevent an electric shock? Now, first of all, let me tell you that an electric shock should not be ignored in a home. Whether it's coming from a tap of water, whether it's coming from an appliance like a fridge or a microwave, kindly do not ignore it. The first time that you experience it, maybe by touching it accidentally and you feel an electric shock, kindly, kindly seek the help of a qualified electrician who will come and sort you out. The reason why I'm saying so is because sometimes these electric shock can go to another level whereby it can be dangerous to the user now another uh, thing that is of importance to mention here is every home must have a tester why am i saying so because if you for instance experience an electric shock or a member of your family uh, says to you that they felt some shock uh, when they touched maybe uh, one appliance or the other now you will come with the tester and establish whether this is true. Please do not attempt to go and touch uh, this appliance to prove it with your hand whether uh, it happened to that member of your beloved family. The reason why I'm saying so is because electric shock affect people differently. There are other people who respond to electric shock by just pulling away their body or their hand. There are other people who are actually uh, injured by this electric shock and to some further extent which can be so unfortunate these people can actually die out of an electric shock so to be on the safe side it is better for you to actually consult a qualified person who will come and establish where the problem could be now what is an electric shock an electric shock uh, is an effect or a flow of electric current uh, from maybe an appliance or a conductor to the body of a person as it tries to get an easier way to discharge. Now, an appliance could have an electric shock or give you an electric shock if its body is charged with electrons. For instance, if this microwave is connected to the wall socket and it's on, and then uh, when you try to put your tester on the body and then the tester comes on, it means that actually that body has electrons and when you touch it, it will try to discharge the electrons to your flesh uh, because it is trying to get an easier way to escape from that uh, body. Now, uh, maybe you would ask how comes that an, uh, an appliance would have an electric shock? 